Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today let's talk about export and import from CSV into Filament. And I will actually read the tutorial from Laravel Daily, and this is what we do pretty often these days. We take a piece of content and then repurpose it as an article on Laravel Daily, as a tweet maybe, sometimes into Filament examples and in YouTube. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you haven't seen that article on Laravel Daily or my tweets, so it's really good to showcase that for YouTube audience. And at the moment, there are two packages, two best packages that we've seen for exporting and importing data with Excel. And it's not the same package, those are two different packages. But before we take a look at them, I will show you a milestone of filament. So on GitHub, on the official GitHub of filament, there's milestone list, and I will link that in the description below. So if you take a look at the milestone 3.1, which will be released, I don't know when, there's no due date because it's incomplete, but in one of the closed features, if you scroll down, you may find feature import action. So you will be able to import from CSV. And if we take a look at files changed, it is based on league CSV package. So you will be able to import CSV in filament without any packages in 3.1, whenever that comes out. But for now we have those two packages and let's see how they work. So to import data, you install the package, which is in beta at the moment for filament three. That's why you need to change this parameter in your composer JSON. And then you create an import action with the fields and this will give you that button on top of the table. But there's an interesting caveat. After importing, you will match the fields. And what if some field is a relationship? For example, like you have category name in the CSV, but you need to insert category ID in the database. So for that, the package allows you to override the record creation, handle record creation, and then you may create category ID like this. After you do that, you receive the notification that import succeeded and that's it. Now let's go to exporting data. There's another package, or in fact, you need to install two packages in this case. And similarly, you add an action, export action to the get header actions method. So we had added import action and also there's export action, which will be a button beside it. And then you provide more parameters for Excel export file name, writer type and columns that you want to customize. It uses Laravel Excel package under the hood. So some of the parameters are similar or identical. It gives us this button and since we added updated add here, which is not visible in the table, so you can see there's no updated add here, but we provide it as extra column and then we have it here in the CSV generated. Of course, as with Laravel Excel package, there are many options, so you should read the documentations of both. So yeah, these are the methods that we recommend at the moment for importing and exporting CSV and Excel. If you have any other suggestions, maybe you use different packages, then shoot your advice in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.